Hello, this is Multiply, a podcast to encourage village church planters and leaders. I am Brad Snowden, your host today. I have the privilege of sharing today about husbands loving their wives. This is such an easy yet important subject to look at. I say it is easy because Jesus loves us, and as followers, we are part of the bride of Christ, and his love for us never ends and has given us this example of pure love. Proverbs 18.22, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor and approval from the Lord. The word good in the Hebrew definition says this word means best, beautiful, cheerful, joyful, precious, sweet, well-favored, and of great wealth. This is a powerful group of words to explain God's favor down upon our lives concerning his love and well-being for us. God knows what we need even when we do not know at that time. When I had the grace of God on my life and had the honor to marry my wife, I really had no clue of what I needed in my life. I had no clue what life would be like or what the future would look like. I am so thankful that God knew what I needed, even after 35 years. 1 Peter 3.18 says, In the same way you husbands live with your wives in an understanding way. Here Peter was helping us in the fact that the power of what God has given us as husbands, a powerful tool to complete us, we are to love our wives as the most precious gift other than his salvation that he could give us. It is also as church planters and leaders in the church to model our relationship with our wives as a precious gift that God has given. I had no clue of the true gift God blessed me with, but as I grew, I learned and still learn and grow in understanding of the blessed relationship that I have with my wife. God knew I needed a prayer partner that knows when and how to bind together in the important spiritual union of prayer. Church planter, leader, pastor, if your wife is with you spiritually, then there is power according to God's word to agree together and see what he will do. What God gives us is so precious, sweet, and powerful. So why do we many times forget to use what he has given us to use? Husbands, love your wives. Appreciate the gift God has given to you both. And trust that God knows what he is doing. Trust that the Lord can speak to your wife to help you and speak into your life and encourage you. I believe this is a great underutilized gift from God. When we fail to utilize the gifts God gives, we only forfeit the added blessings and cannot achieve or will not achieve all that God has planned. We are to love and cherish our wives so that the Lord can work through us as a team to accomplish all that he needs us to do. It is my desire that we as husbands can fully understand God's design for our marriages and can model this for the church. We can accomplish this only through the power of the Holy Spirit in appreciating what God has given us to use. God gives us what we need in this very moment and throughout our entire lives, and he gave us his best. He gave us our wife, our lifelong partner, to see his love flow through. This has been a word of encouragement for Village Church Planters. Who will you share this message with today?